This is Total Drama 2023 Season 2 Summarized Badly. Episode 1, let's go. We start Season 2 by literally yeeting all of the contestants from a helicopter. Ha! Huh. If I had a nickel for every time a Total Drama season reintroduces their characters by dropping them from a helicopter, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? You can't just dump us out of a helicopter, you maniac! Of course well, you can. I mean, obviously you're wrong. <laughs> So anyways, most people are still fine with each other after last season. Except for Emma and Chase, because Emma found out that Chase kinda sacrificed himself for a slice of pizza instead of for Emma. I was just wondering... No, Chase! But we... No! 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 That was some power! And uh, oh yeah, pretty much everyone hates Bowie now for how he used Millie's notebook in the finale, but not Millie for writing said notebook. Michelle's apparently had training now, so you can bet that she's gonna do good things this season. Oh, and Scary Girl is now Normal Girl, as she wants to live a normal life, and they make a joke of it that nobody even recognizes her. But, I mean, how many people with this haircut do you know? A normal girl? <gasps> Scary Girl! A lot of people have changed their approach this season too. Axel wants to be nicer oh. to ensure her stay in the game, while Caleb wants to try a more sneaky approach, ensuring he has enough numbers not to be voted off. I was the first kicked off. Caleb so speaks! Oh, and Z is now a soda influencer. Anyway, so Bowie apologized to the group, and they're like, all right, bet. And then he gets to choose the teams alongside Priya. Caleb is pissed he isn't picked until he's picked, and then Ripper is pissed he isn't picked, and then he's never picked. Julia does end up getting chosen by Bowie, and she's happy about it, until MK points out that they might just do it because they have the numbers to make her the first boot. From here on out, Julia and MK bond, like big time. They are pretty much always on screen together. Priya ends up picking Millie, Emma, Caleb, Damien, Axel, Z, and Michelle, forming Team Ratface. Bowie chooses Raj, Wayne, Julia, MK, Chase, Normal Girl, and Ripper, and they form Team Skunkbutt. I am not making those names up. But anyways, time to play Squid Game. Hey, what's up? I'm here. Again, I am not making that up. Players are tasked to play Red Light, Green Light in this fantastic Squid Game parody, where the dolls replace with Chef's grandma, who is apparently one of the best baseball pitchers in the world. One by one, the contestants go out for all sorts of funky reasons, the highlight of which being that Julia self-sacrifices for the team to show that she's worth keeping around, and Z going out because soda bubbles apparently count as moving. Also, one of the interns messes up and gets fired, so now there's a spare intern outfit lying around in a cabin, and MK wants to go get it so she can use it to her advantage. In the end, it looks like Bowie's going to win as the only one left together with Michelle, but then Michelle shows up the training of hers and wins the first immunity for her team. So now the skunk butts have to send someone home to elimination and they have no clue who to pick. But then Normal Girl reveals her training of becoming normal includes watching everybody from their own closets back home. Can you guess who the first boot is? So yeah, Normal Girl reverts back to Scary Girl and is booted from the game, swearing revenge. Recap over, let's get to my opinions. Alright, let's do this in the form of a little tier list. I'm not going to make it as extensive as my tier lists and bracket things tend to get. I'm going to gloss over the characters really quick, what I thought of them in each episode and elaborate a little bit on that. We have these tiers, amazing, they were a very good addition to that episode. Fun, I like watching them, but nothing all that special. Unremarkable, they were barely in the episode, they were background fillers waiting their turn for another episode. Bad, they straight up did something that I did not like, and not in this episode, well, it's not the case in episode one but will be important for future episodes i imagine axel pretty unremarkable for episode one she was in it a little bit here and there but i feel like we're going to get some more development of this character in a little while and that's gonna take some time you know bowie fun addition to today's episode i like how he starts with like a one to zero disadvantage only for that to almost immediately be swept under the rug Caleb, unremarkable so far. I I think they're setting him up as the villain, but I don't think they're doing a good job just yet. I, I need something that makes him distinct from the villains. Like Julia last season, she was a remarkable villain. Caleb so far is just Justin. It's literally just Justin. Chase had some good jokes this episode, but all in all, he was not all that special. Same with Damien, to be honest. These characters have not had a lot of screen time just yet. I'm wondering if they are going to get some more in the next couple of episodes. And let's chug in Emma as well, who also didn't get a lot of development just yet. Although I did really... I I'll move up Emma a little bit for her no, no, no moment. That was great. Julia, I really like this episode. I am a very big fan of what they're setting up here. Alongside, let's, well, sure, let's, let's put MK in Amazing as well. I like their dynamic. It's fun. Finally, MK gets something to do that doesn't make me want to crawl my nails into the desk. And Julia has a fun new twist to her character, which she definitely needs after last season. They can't just pull the same thing twice. Millie was a fun addition to this episode as well. I like the bond between her and Bria, which I'll move to fun as well. The two of them are really great together, and seeing them re 
reunited again. We are leaving off where we left off last time, and I like that because that was a fun drop-off point. Raj was very cute this episode as well. I like his interactions with Bowie. I like that they are not really officially a couple. I don't think it's not confirmed at least, but they are definitely cute together and I like them a lot. Ripper, fun addition to the cast. Not that special for this episode, but he always gets the best jokes. So I am definitely moving Ripper to fun. Nichelle, also a really fun addition to this episode. I am seeing what they're going for. I hope that Nichelle gets brought into the drama a little bit more. But for now, Nichelle is fine at fun tier. I like seeing her be the powerhouse for change. Z, influencer, amazing. That's just a really fun twist to this character. I like that a lot, the Z influencer style here. <laughs> he didn't get a lot to do in this episode, but I just, I just find him hilarious. Wayne, same as Raj. These two characters are pretty much inseparable, and this was the same here. I just really enjoy having both of them on screen. And finally, Scary Girl was pretty much amazing for the one episode that she gets to join in. Unfortunately, that is where that remains for this episode. I liked the normal girl twist and how they try to do that. <laughs> Alright, so that includes the episode for today. Thank you so much for watching and a special thank you to Rift, Galen Schwimru, Creeper XOX, Gietegeit, Camille Loves Trevor, Media Films, Nighty, Mevers, Immer Gaming and Harvey Koopa for your continuous support on the Silly Billy channel. If you want to become a member yourself, please consider checking down below the join button. You can join in for, I believe it's like $2, which gives you all the benefits of higher tiers as well. Please consider joining in. We're going to do an entire series like this, recapping every single episode, because I think it's just really funny to do. And if you would like to be a part for that, or if you would like to stay up to date for future Total Drama and Disvenger Camp updates, especially with Disvenger Camp Season 3 around the corner, please consider checking off the subscribe button and hitting the like button, of course, so I know that this video is something that you guys like as well. For now, though, I thank you for watching once again. This has been Silly Billy, and remember, Michelle would canonically survive Squid Game. Howdoop!